Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue who told you games, so we're checking out Sonic 1 Bosses Remade in Super Mario Maker 2. Let's get started. Sonic 1, All Bosses. First, we'll start in Green Hill Zone. We're gonna be playing as Blue Toad because, you know, Blue Toad's blue like Sonic. Hey Sonic, what's up? It's Blue Toad. See you later, Sonic. All right, let's enter this door to fight the Green Hill Zone boss. And as you can see here, it looks awesome. We got a little clown car making up for Eggman's Eggmobile. Instead of the giant ball and chain, we have a chain shop. It works out perfectly. Now to damage this boss, we need to bounce off the note block and hit the on off blocks at the top. Whenever you hear the P-Switch music, it usually means we're halfway through the boss fight. Bosses will take eight hits just like in the original game. And if you're not sloppy like I am right now, it should go a lot quicker than this. All right, we just need a few more hits. We can't hit him from underneath like we can originally, but I think this works pretty good considering, you know, it's Mario Maker 2 and not Sonic. Once you defeat the boss, you'll head to the right just like in the original game, except this time we'll go through a door. Now it's time for Marble Zone. Cool! All right, so next up, we'll head through this door to fight the Marble Zone boss, reimagined in Mario Maker 2. Damaging the bosses will always be similar, where we'll bounce up and hit the on-off blocks at the top. You can get more than one hit per bounce, but it makes it a little too easy, so I prefer to take my time. Here's it side by side with the original fight. As you can see, they got the gap in the middle pretty nice with the lava in the middle. I'm not sure why they put spikes in the Mario Maker 2 level. I think a lava pit would have been cooler, would have been more challenging, but maybe they wanted to keep it a little bit easier for you. Since in Sonic, you can you know lose rings and still get back up with the platforms. Here we have mushrooms instead of rings, but it all works out. We need one more hit, Blue Toad, and we can save the day. All right, we've defeated our Robotnik slash Clown Car Note Blotnik, Note Blocknik? Blocknik? <laughs> Whatever. Spring Yard Zone, here we go. Spring Yard Zone boss, notorious for coming down and taking away your platforms so you fall into a bottomless pit and die. They've done a nice job here using a thwomp and a wiggler instead. It works out great. Uh, they had to get a little creative here. I don't know if they ran out of doors or pipes or whatever, whatever it may be. But basically, uh, the way to defeat this boss in Mario Maker 2 is we just want to get the first half of the boss defeated. And uh, then we can just run across this bottom before the P-Switch runs out and head to the next boss, which is Labyrinth Zone. Labyrinth Zone is a really unique boss fight in Sonic 1. It's not one of my favorites, but it is challenging. It's more of a platforming challenge than an actual boss fight. We'll put this one side by side for a bit here uh, to really show how closely they replicated this. All right, so here you can see side by side, they managed to mimic all the different things. I think the burners work well for the little trident things that come out to stab you. And once you get to the top, in Mario Maker 2, you can steal the clown car. And you can be just like our boy, Dr. Eggman. I have a floppy mustache, Toad. Toad doesn't care about floppy mustaches. He is here to take out the Starlight Zone boss. All right. Now, Starlight Zone is uh, not too hard of a boss normally. In Mario Maker, they've decided to use a Bill Blaster to shoot out bombs instead of the little spiky bombs that came out in the original game. And then, of course, we have our clown car once again for the Eggmobile. Just like the other fights, we need to get to the top and hit the on-off blocks. Uh-oh, we're running low on time, so <laughs> once we finish this boss, we'll probably jump to a different playthrough. I spent a little too much time uh, messing around. And uh, I want to make this a little bit uh, smoother of an experience to watch. So uh, once we beat this boss, maybe we'll die and restart from the checkpoint or something. I don't know. All right, we need one more hit. Come on, Blue Toad, you can do this. Old Note Blotnik is no match for Blue Toad. All right, through the door. And guess what? We're on final zone and we magically have 273 seconds now. So just like the original fight, we have four different things that'll come down and smash us. Now in the original fight, only two would come down at a time. And instead of the little zappy zappy balls, we got cannonballs. It all adds up. We have to hit the POW blocks, kind of mimicking hitting Robotnik in the little containers. We have just a couple more to hit. That gets rid of the munchers over there. And once we get rid of all the munchers, then we'll blow up the Bob bomb and we can finish the dang level. 
All right. So now we just gotta hit this last one here. Help me. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, damage boosting's fine. You can damage boost the original game if you had rings, but not so much in Final Zone. So this is a little bit easier. All right. Good job, Blue Toad. You just saved the day. But you didn't get any Chaos Emeralds, so, you know, uh, you get the bad ending, I guess. <laughs> but before we finish, let's try to steal that world record real quick. I'm going to try to go through as quickly as possible, see if we can get the world record. Challenge you to go beat my record if I get it. All right, we'll skip the flower there to save a little bit of time. Now we're going to multi-bounce. This will show you how you can kind of cheese this whole level. I like doing one hit at a time because it feels more like the original game, as close as you can get. But, uh, you know, when you're trying to get the world record, you got to take advantage any way you can. All right, holding down. So if I beat the world record, it shouldn't be too hard to beat my world record because, you know, I don't really have a lot of practice at this level. All right, let's see if we can get multiple bounces here again. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Key gotten in through the do. All right, hit the on-off block and hold up. Soon as we go through the door, we'll be on to the next boss and ready to go. We're going through pretty quick so far. All right, this one. Oh, I bet this would be one that would be good to get some practice at. You could probably get all four hits on the first bounce, but, uh, you know, we'll just go like that and hope for the best. That was pretty decently fast. We kept the thwomp on the right side of the screen, which probably saved us a little bit of time, right? Sure. All right, holding up again. Go through the uh, door. We need to play the next level. All right, so this one's gonna be all about damage boosting and hopefully not hopping into the clown car because that'll slow us down. I could have been a little faster there. Damage boost will help for sure. I don't know if the person with the world record went as fast as possible or if they just happened to be faster than everyone else organically. So this might be a giant waste of time, but I think we can get the world record. All right, bounce, bounce, bounce. I bet you if you get on this a little bit quicker, that would save you some time too. Through the door. And, oh no, now we gotta wait. Don't hit me, cannonball. Jump on it, Toad. Good job. Not sure how we pulled that off, but I like it. All right, we'll damage boost here as much as we can. Uh, this is the harder one to get, so we'll grab that. Hit that one. Please go up. Whew. We're really close to dying. <laughs> Something about being on this side of the burner still worries me. All right, I'm gonna jump and just hold right and hope that it times out right. It didn't. Was it enough for the world record? Let's find out right now. And the answer is, yes, we did it. See if you could beat 132717 or don't. I mean, you don't have to. All right, that's going to conclude our look at Sonic Bosses Remade in Super Mario Maker 2. If you know another remake level I should check out, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you know when I release new videos. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, join the BGD Discord, check out my merch store down below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.